Here we are, we're rolling this morning. We're rolling, I don't know what time it is. My damn electricity keeps going off. See if we got any deer in the backyard. It's been raining, so they're probably in the woods a little bit. I'm gonna go hit the gym real quick. Gonna, gonna get a killer workout in. Gonna get to kicking it. And, uh, we're gonna see where the day goes. Gotta get to Vegas today. Gotta see, gonna do some cool shit out there, so. Let's get it rolling. Oh, I just killed it at the gym again. Got it in this morning, doing a little laundry. Looking for some deer. I like it. I like it. They're on my porch, but it's raining now. I did see them after I closed the camera. I think there's one back here, though. Like, I'm always, like, going through the windows. I just seen one. Like, he was, like, right in there. But, I don't know where he went. He's probably moving. It's raining. It's a shitty day. It's raining out here. and Staying up in the brush, you know? But I'm sure that as soon as it lets off, they'll be out. I'm going to put me some deer. I'm going to put a corn feeder out here, me and Sailor. Yeah, I think we're gonna put us like a little deer, deer feeder deal. Feed the deer, you know what I mean? Oh man, crushed the workout. Crushed it, I'm telling you, I've been crushing it the last couple days. I'm gonna keep crushing, I'm gonna crush it. I'm gonna crush life, that's the way it's gonna be. I tell you, there's no days off, no days off. Now look, I struggle on my vlogs a little bit, but I'm gonna work on them a little bit more. But yeah, headed out to Vegas, gonna go out there and kill that, gonna hopefully see some of the Las Vegas PD guys. I got a good speech, you know, I got, got a speech coming. Gonna, gonna, gonna give me a, gonna give a speech out there, you know, and then see what else goes on. Hopefully get a podcast in. And then, and then, guess where we're going? Now, now you're gonna have to watch this video this week because we're going out, I get to meet Jocko. Now, if you haven't heard of Jocko, you need to look him up. We're gonna put him down below. Um, we'll, we'll link him into the bottom of this one, or, you know, you know, you know where it's at, like at the bottom, like in that little place, we're gonna link it in there. I get to go meet Jocko. Jocko's an incredible guy, I watch his videos all the time, and. So it's kind of like pump for me because I get to go see him and hang out with him. I'm going to do his podcast. He's going to do mine. I'm going to do his. He's going to do mine. No, no. Uh, yeah, something like that. So it's going to be great. And then we go down to Toyota. We go down to, not to Toyota. We go down to Houston for Toyota to uh, do some transition summits and help veterans transition and keep the fight on helping veterans transition out of the military and going back to not just jobs, but meaningful careers. Now look, I know it sounds like gimmicky, but that's generally what's near and dear to my heart. And look, I, veterans are by far, they are the greatest of what America has to offer. And um, I believe in them with my whole heart. And if you don't like that, then you should unsubscribe right now because I don't want you following me. Veterans are incredible people. Uh, people who wore the nation's cloth, including veterans, first responders, uh, anyone who has served this nation or served the nation in belief of a cause that's bigger than them, they are incredible human beings. And they are the few. All right, I gotta go take a shower. I need to get my life together. What time is it? What time is it? Where's my phone at? It's 9.31. Let me get my life together. Charlie's in the wire. I gotta sneak up on him. I wanna show y'all. I wanna show y'all we got tangos in the yard. Can you see it? See it? See him back here? Got tangos in the yard. Two of them. Two of them. Shit, we're about to get over red. like clockwork, like clockwork. Good thing I'm not hungry. And I'll be honest, I don't even know if one of those little things would even fill my daughters up. Oh man, we're surrounded. I thought they were only in the backyard. But we got them everywhere. I mean, they're everywhere. We're surrounded. We are surrounded. Not in the front yard yet, but they're coming. They're coming. I'm trying to come to the bush. It's all right though. 
It's all right. It's all right. There might come a day that they're in the wrong yard. All right, I can't tell you how pumped I am. I finally got a new shirt in. This ain't it. This ain't it. This is actually the shirt to my gym. So I'm going to try it again. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try the Freedom Snap, right? The Freedom Snap. One day I'm going to get the bikini snaps, but I'm going to Freedom Snaps right now. So I got the new shirt in. Are y'all ready for it? And if you don't like it, well, then you're an asshole. But, all right, here we go. Let's try this. Whoa! Holy shit, what do you think about it? Look at it! No days off, none. Zero days off. So what do y'all think, what do y'all think, huh? What do you think, huh? Looking pretty good. Own the Dash logo on the right arm. What do you think? What do you think, huh? What do you think? Look, no. I know I'm not looking good. What do you think about the shirt? Come on, how cool is it? Go get yours, go get yours. We'll put it down in the bio below. Go get it, own the dash.us. Look at her cool products, let me know what you think. And tell me what else you want. I can make it all, I can do it all, I can do it all. Look, no days off. Anaya's always calling me fancy, but let me tell you what he did. This is the room that Knives booked. Look at this. Yeah, yep, yeah. like Knives. This is Knives' room. Look at this, look at this. Look at this shit. Knives, Knives, what are you gonna do in this tub? Huh? What are you gonna do in this tub? And guess what he told me? He said, you know, Dakota? Um, I got this room, I got you a spot to sleep. The couch. This is some bullshit, Knives. This hurts, I can't believe you're doing this to me, man. Oh, so it's like, it's Knives like is- It's like I'm rolling with Bruce Wayne over here. Knives' new name is Fancy. <laughs> hey, Fancy. Hey, Fancy. All right, so we're gonna go we got a podcast coming up tonight. It's going to be really badass. Got another one tomorrow. I mean, I'm telling you, I'm loving this podcast deal. We're going to go. I got to go to the Venetian because I was hanging out with Rob last week. and Or the week before at SHOT Show. We were hanging out. We were doing a little bit of gambling. And when I got home, Rob kind of was taking all my chips. And he was hiding them from me and this and that, right, to save them. And, you know, being a responsible friend. And I get home and guess what I find? Yeah, yeah. So, who comes to Vegas with chips? Who the hell does it? Does that mean I got a problem? I don't know. All right, so we're gonna go do that. We're gonna go um, take this chip back. I wanna get my cash. I might spend it. I don't know. We'll see what we do. And then, you know, we're just gonna see where the night goes. We're gonna see where the night goes. I know there's gonna be one part we're gonna ride a roller coaster. So, here we go. Let's see where, we, where the night ends. I watched, uh, you know who I seen do that? I watched Demolition Ranch. Watch, let me show you what he did. Ready? I'm gonna copy Demolition Ranch right here. Because let me just tell you, I could never be as cool as Demolition Ranch. Never. Man, how cool was that? All right, so here we are. We're about to do this podcast. Are you excited? Yes. Look at this, look at this. She is a badass. <laughs> She's a badass. Knives? Here I am. Knives set it all up. Knives has been sitting with me. This is Dakota's brainchild. This is all his idea. I just <laughs> pushed the button. He told he this he designed it. In a professional studio. Shut up, Knives. Um, this is Knives' room. Yep, I am sleeping on the couch. Uh, cause Knives is fancy. Um Knives set this up, and actually, I, I appreciate you, Knives, for setting this up so that we could do this great podcast. We're excited about it. And all I know is that we were at dinner, and Knives kept saying, is she going to show up? Like, could she please hurry up and show up because I'm tired of sitting with you? So me and Knives, we got, like, some issues to talk about a little bit later, but we won't share it with you right now because Knives be an asshole tonight. <laughs> So I always look at everything in my life as, hey, look, if I get hit by a truck tomorrow, <laughs> um, <laughs> like I should have everything set up for that, right? Like I always look at it like, okay, yeah, I know that me and you said this and this is our agreement, but if I get hit by a truck tomorrow, our agreement needs to be in place, right? Right. Um, the most interesting thing that, that I heard the other, the other night, you know, when, you know, we were just talking and getting to know each other was like your incredible story like of just sitting next to you 
and hearing like how awesome your attitude is. <laughs> like I look, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I was, I came to that table and I had some problems. Like I'm gonna tell you, like I had some problems going on. Like <laughs> everybody does. Yeah, I had some problems going on, but like sitting down and then sitting there, like honestly, like when I sit there, that whole conversation that night, listening to you, it was like therapeutic for me. And it's so, it put everything in life so in perspective that when I left there, my, my life, like I haven't stopped thinking about it since I left. <laughs> That's intense, bro. <laughs> like, I mean, do you agree, Nice? I mean, one hundred percent. You know, and I don't want to sound so morose or anything, but uh, no, I'm being honest. It was. Like, it was. I mean, well, for the listeners, they don't know what happened, right? But it was definitely how. Oh, she's about to tell. Them. How shockingly cavalier you were about it. Yeah, I mean, like, I think the most important part was is like. I, I don't know. Like, I guess the part you, were, you threw me off is when you were talking about it. I I was like so, it was like getting hit by. <laughs> I don't want to say get get hit by a, <laughs> uh, like a a bus and I was like holy like I was like wanting to be empathetic but you were like laughing about it so it was like <laughs> like it was like a fine line to walk you know what I'm saying like, yeah but I just like I walked away from it and I was so inspired and so empowered by like your energy through a bad situation that it was like fuck if she could do this then I got no problems like when I left when I left sitting at that table with you that night, I walked away and I said, I don't have any problems. I got inconveniences. That's a good way to, that's a positively way to put it or way to positively put it. So tell, so tell grammar. us, so, so tell us, you know, all the viewers are sitting there listening to, uh, I'm not very good at grammar. I was a Marine. So. <laughs> don't laugh at me. <laughs> One, two, orange crown. <laughs> <laughs> or is it the blue crown? <laughs> okay. I don't look at them as orange, blue, or red. It's cherry, <laughs> orange, or blueberry. Okay? It makes sense. Yeah. Because when they go into your mouth, the snozzberries taste like snozzberries, right? <laughs> <laughs> Knives, did she make fun of me right Dakota now? Dakota doesn't watch movies, so he doesn't know what that means. Oh. Is that okay. Willy Wonka? <laughs> oh. Uh, oh. Oh. You knew it. <laughs> Turned my world upside down, man. So. <laughs> So, so, so tell us, like, I know the viewers are out there listening and they're like, well, okay, so now tell us what happened. So, so won't, won't you walk us through if you don't care? Like, take, um, take a deep breath first. Okay. So the whole thing started back to my whole helping people thing that you've caught on to. Um, it's pretty good, right? Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I started this idea where I wanted to do something that a female veteran has never done. Um, basically kind of set a new bar for female veterans when they get out. Um, and so in the off-road racing community, there's not much of a presence there. Yeah. And what I wanted to do was Ironman the Vegas Torino, finish it really well. Yeah. And do it for veterans charity. So throughout the whole thing, I'd finish it and raise a lot of money. So I started training hardcore, videoing the whole thing, documenting it on social media, like weight training, you know, riding 30 miles a day. Um, and that's uh, cycling 30 miles a day, not like mo people will mix that up. So I have to say correctly what that is. Yeah. Um, and so I went for a, like a normal cycle ride uh, the weekend before because I was picking up the bike. Yeah. And uh, out by the race shop, I just went on a normal ride, like a 30 mile ride. And uh, I remember changing the song. It was a full moon, weird enough. And the favorite part of the story I like to tell people because it was weird, but a cop car had like flipped over like trying to trying to like flip a bitch basically and i was like riding and i was like hmm that's weird so i like kept pedaling you know whatever because things happen but i just thought that was really weird to happen ooh right before i uh you know get hit or whatever but that's in hindsight before i was just like whatever yeah and so uh, I changed the song, and the song I changed it to, I remember directly, because if I listen to it now, I can tell you exactly where I don't remember anything anymore. But uh, it was the Gasoline Song by Halsey. And I remember turning around on the road, because that was my turnaround spot, and then I, <clears throat> like, readjusted on the seat, and then I don't remember two and a half days in between that. And my Strava was still running, though, so I could show you the Strava where my speed went from like 13 miles an hour to 
80, 82 miles an hour where the oh ambulance picked me up. Really? Yeah. Holy shit. So it's kind of interesting to see that. Um, and then it shows like the route they took and stuff. But what I thought was more interesting was that my friend um, that I was supposed to go to breakfast breakfast with that morning, she said the only way that she knew that I was gone was my truck was there at the shop. My bicycle was missing. But on Snapchat, I had posted that I was changing the tire because I had a flat before and then I just brought it down. Do you remember that? Um, I do remember that. But I, I, I can say that I remember more because she told me that's how she knew. Yeah. Um, and so uh, I had posted that, that I was changing the flat because I used the ZT knife. I was like, oh, like, look at, you know, trying to be nerdy about yeah. it. And then um, she said that my bicycle wasn't there. My dog was still in the truck. My truck was there and there was, you know, I wasn't there. And so they kind of like panicked, obviously. And then they couldn't call me or anything. And then so they kind of like went to, you know, worst case scenario at that point. And I was in the hospital and basically my phone kind of like blew up. But apparently from what my friend told me was that the, even though I don't remember it like two and a half days, the EMTs, they asked me the code for my phone to call my mom. He told them. And I told them. So I was able to speak to them and answer their question, but yeah. I have no recollection, like no, I don't, I don't remember any of that. I remember, like I tried for like the the weeks I was in the hospital. I tried remembering, um, like I just sat there obviously, and uh, just kept trying to like, come on, remember, remember, like yeah. thinking about it. And the most I could remember is like, like yelling, like in pain. I'm assuming, you know. Yeah. And uh, that was it. But I can't remember anything more than that. Like, I can't remember telling him a code. I can't remember any of that. So basically, like, so, you know, for the listeners out there, so you're on your bicycle riding. Yes. And a car hits you. Yes. A, a Ford Raptor at 65 miles an hour. And funny enough, the, the well, I say it's funny. The cop that it's pulled up to funny. the scene, he told me that they put, like, a beware of bicyclists sign where I got hit. And oh. it was interesting enough is... I usually always carry, right? And obviously that's not legal, but I decided to not carry that day. Hmm. And I carried a knife instead. And I I was really glad I didn't because I was like... I don't think it would have mattered. Well, I just didn't want my gun to have flown out in the middle of the road, you know? And now it's like I don't someone think, random is going to get it. I don't think it would have really mattered. <laughs> that was something that I thought about in, in retrospect, you know? 